Hello there, I'm Kathy Duplantis, and today on Glorious Living, you're going to learn about a glorious miracle that happened in, in the life of one of our staff members, so be sure and watch. Hello, you know, I'm so glad that you're joining me today in Studio C because this is a day where we'll give glory to God for the great things that He has done in the earth. And today, Chrissy is with me again. Always celebrating Jesus' healing power that's available to you right now. That's Always. That's right. You know, God, Jesus came so that we would know that we don't have to live sick, depressed, and discouraged. No. He came that we can have great life yeah. and live an abundant life. There's healing available. Prosperity is available. I mean, the Bible's filled with promises, and all we need to do is try trust Him, and basically give Him a job, which is what we're talking about all yes. this year, how when we give God a job, He goes to work for us. He sure does. And we read testimonies all the time about the goodness of God working through viewers like you watching today. I have one that I want to share about healing. Oh, good. Isn't that great? I love when someone gets healed. I know it. It's so powerful. This is, it says right here, Jesus healed me of my back pain, head, and stomach pain. I wrote in and prayed with you, and the next day, zero pain. Hallelujah. I love that. So they wrote into JDM, uh -huh. we stood with you in prayer, and now you're walking in your miracle. And that's just so amazing that we're teaching these principles of faith. People mm -hmm. are grabbing hold on to the truth, yes. and now they're free from pain. That's How amazing. So good. We're following the example of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible talks about that everywhere that he went, he went about preaching, teaching, and healing. And healing. So healing is always the result of preaching and teaching. You have to find out that the promise belongs to you, that Jesus, that it's God's will. And I think it was F.F. Bosworth, who I always like to quote, says that faith begins where the will of God is known. Nice. So once you know the will of God, faith rises up and then you can receive whatever that promise is, whether it's healing, prosperity. You know, a lot of the same principles work no matter what you're believing God That's for. Right. So it's so important to you to know that no matter what you're dealing with today, God has an answer for that problem. He does. Amen. Yes, and, and today we're so excited because yes. for the very first time, we're going to welcome Sheila Bennett into Studio C. For the past three years, Sheila has worked with our JDM Partner Care Team and has been a precious part of our Covenant Church family for over eight years. She and her husband, Arthur, have been married for 22 years and have five wonderful children. And Sheila's here with us today to share her powerful testimony of healing and how living out the Word of God brings peace in every circumstance. Thank you, Sheila, for being here. You're welcome. Thank you. It's and you look so colorful and your beautiful pink. You're Thank you. always so put Thank together. You. I call Miss Sheila the fas fashionista. Thank Every you. time I see you, whether it's church or work, you look so beautiful. It's and always a classic look. Yes. She's a classic Thank lady. You. Yeah. So, Thank you so much. And today our, our viewers get to watch or to meet you for the first time. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time you're actually, even though you work here on staff and you've right. been here a while, you know, we have a lot of different departments. Mm -hmm. our, not all of our staff has been able to come in to the studio C and be a, and see what's happened here. But you were, I remember we, before we started here, you were looking at how everything looks because you watch regularly right. all the right. uh, chats, all the yes. different things mm -hmm. that we have and uh, the Glorious Living programs. And you were uh, looking around and everything looks so familiar, but yeah. so different. Yes. Yeah. You thought it was much bigger, huh? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah now yeah, you're just, here. Your first mm -hmm. time in Studio C right. sharing a testimony from God, a healing testimony, yes. how amazing that is. And I know with the partner care team, you're always agreeing with people that call in in prayer. Mm -hmm. That must be a beautiful part of your position. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love praying with people, giving people hope letting them know that, you know, there's no hopeless situation. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when they call in, um, some people, like, they're devastated. And by the time I finish giving them the scripture, they're like, oh, oh, okay. And so I love just giving people hope, knowing that um, God is listening. And one of the things I like to come in agreement with them, letting them know that he said if, if we come in agreement, he's going to come among us. Mm -hmm. And so... I love that. That's a powerful statement. I know that must be so rewarding. It is. To, to hear their response and know that a life was changed because you were there in that position mm -hmm. uh, and you give God a, a job basically mm -hmm. by allowing Him to use you to right. encourage His people that call in, our partners, some of them and our partners, some of their other people that just call in because right. we, we talk to everybody that calls in. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and some of them are really facing very, very difficult situations. Right. 
And I'm, we're thankful that God has brought a team of people in the partner, we call it partner care, mm -hmm. but it's our prayer department as mm -hmm. well. They they open the mail, pray over those written prayer requests. They pull down the, the emails that come in that have prayer requests. So sometimes they get phone calls that right. have prayer requests. So we cover all the bases, all the different ways that you communicate with us. Mm -hmm. We have a team of beautiful, uh, spirit-filled, spirit-led, Holy Ghost women That's and men right. that answer your calls and love mm -hmm. to pray with you. And this is what you do whenever right. you come here. What a beautiful job. It really it is. is. It really <laughs> is. It's, it really is. I love, mm -hmm. I think of anything I love to do, I love to pray with people mm -hmm. and give people hope, mm -hmm. letting them know that there's always an answer. There's, mm -hmm. I mean, for any situation, there is an answer in the Word. Amen. There and you've experienced an this personally for yourself. Yes. I know over the years that you've been serving the Lord, how long have you been born again? Oh, you know? 40. Four, maybe 40, 40, 40 over wow. 40 years. That's, awesome. That's yes. a long time of walking mm -hmm. with the Lord. You've prayed many things over the years, given yes. him many jobs <laughs> over the years. <laughs> That's right. But uh, but today we were so uh, fascinated. I remember when you shared with me your testimony about healing, mm -hmm. and so I'm so thankful that you're here today to talk about what God did for you and what you were facing. Right. And I remember when you uh, the symptoms were coming up, you really didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. So tell us about your journey of well, healing. Well, I thank God for the healing mm -hmm. that I experienced this, um, the healing last year. Um, maybe about in March of last year, I, re I noticed that I was gaining weight, but I was losing weight. My abdomen was getting bigger, but my body was getting smaller. And um, I, I remember I was, I was out of town and I was in the hotel and I was looking and I was like, something's not right. Lord, something is not right. It looked like I was pregnant, but I, you know, I knew I wasn't pregnant. Yeah. So I said to my, I said, well, when I get home, I'm going to make me a doctor's appointment and, you know, go have it checked out. And I think I went up for prayer and you were saying, go, go get a check out. Go, yeah. you know, go to the doctor and get it checked out. Yeah, then you'll know how out. to pray specifically. Mm -hmm. Right, yes. exactly. Mm -hmm. So um, I made the appointment and I went to the doctor and, you know, at first she was like, well, it could be that could be this. It could be just you gaining weight. And I told her, I said my body is getting smaller, and I didn't have any symptoms. Mm -hmm. No symptom. Only thing. Only symptom I had was my pressure was really high. Mm -hmm. And so um, she examined me. She did a blood work. She did all kind of blood work. And then I remember after she finished, she just she was kind of casual, like you know, we're just gonna keep looking at it and see what's going on. And but it really don't look like. Anything, and then she told me. She said, "Well, you know what? Before you leave, sit on the table. Let me let me just touch your stomach." And so she did, and she examined my stomach, and I I noticed her face went flush. It just her whole countenance changed, mm -hmm. and she looked at me and she said, "You know what? We're gonna take a CT scan." And so she said, "I want you to go downstairs and take a CT." And when I I did that, I went took a CT scan, and um, she said, "Well, we're gonna get the results, and we'll call you back today sometime." So about two hours after I got home, the nurse called and she said, um, Ms. Sheila, um, your doctor wants to see you tomorrow. And she said, bring somebody with you. And so when she said that, I said, Sounds okay. Serious. Yeah, I said, okay. So I, I didn't, my husband was inside and I didn't, I didn't tell him anything. I just, my patio is my mm -hmm. meeting place where I meet the, I yeah. meet the Lord. It's just. It's, I love to just be outside and have my prayer time outside. So I, I went on a patio and I was like, okay, Lord, we got to talk. We and you got to talk. And I was just telling the Lord, I said, you know, Lord, I've seen many, many miracles in my life. I've seen healings of cancer, everything. Um, I've just seen a whole lot of healings take yeah. place in my life. I prayed for people and saw miracles happen. I, one lady, she had a lump in her breast mm -hmm. and... Um, I went in intercession for her. And this particular time I, I, when, I, when I went in intercession, it was just like I was her. Yeah. I almost mm -hmm. switched places with her and I was her mm -hmm. in this uh, time of praying for her. And it was like I had the lump in my breast. And so the next day she went to the doctor. When she got on the table, they examined her and she had no lump. 
Mm -hmm. yeah, so you're not a, you're not a novice mm -hmm. to yeah, healing. Right, right. You've experienced it your, for yourself, I'm sure, in the past, as well as for other people right. that you knew personally. Some you prayed for over the phone at our ministry, and you, we've heard those testimonies. You've right. read them. You've been hearing about them. So now here it is. You're facing something, and yeah. so you knew what to do. I just, you know, that's one of the things I went sat on the patio, and I was like. Now, Lord, I've seen healing over the years. Mm -hmm. I believe the scripture that says that by your stripes I am healed. Yeah. I believe the scripture that says that healing is the children's yes. bread. Yes. I believe that. I believe that you died for my healing. And I was like, okay, so the doctor telling me to come in tomorrow, and I just was telling the Lord, I say, this is my resolve. I don't care what she says. I don't care what diagnosis she give me. I am healed. Yes. And I was telling the Hallelujah. Lord, I said, this is how I'm going to handle it. I don't care. She, I just, just didn't matter to me what she said, what diagnosis. My resolve was, I am healed. And I got up and um, I went and it looked like a peace came on me after that. And I went and told my husband and um, he was like, okay, well, we're just going to go to the doctor tomorrow. So before that, I had been kind of like clowning with my daughters and telling them I was pregnant, <laughs> telling them I was going to have twins because my stomach was big, but my body was getting small. <laughs> yeah, I was kept saying, and I was showing them, I was, look at my stomach, I'm having twins, I'm having twins. <laughs> and so when I went to the doctor and she told me that, um, you know, you had a, a, um, a tumor, I'm sorry, she said you have a tumor in your stomach and um, she want me to go see another doctor. And so I'm, I don't take any medication. Only thing I took at that time was um, apple cider vinegar and honey. <laughs> and so when I went to her and I told her that's all I take, and then she sent me to the, um, a, another doctor, and he was kind of prepping us to go into the, uh, to have surgery and telling us what to expect. And he couldn't believe that I didn't take anything. Yeah, I didn't there's take used any to so long, a long lot. In fact, there's always a form when you go in. Yeah. What medications are you and on? He, and we always write yeah. zero. Uh, I think my husband takes like a little baby aspirin every day, mm -hmm. but that's all we do other than a few vitamins that right. I take. And so all you do is you said apple cider vinegar, and that's a little sip of something yes. in the morning, clean yourself out. Yes. But that's not, that's not, uh, that's not medicine. medicine. Uh -huh. But, he, you know, he just was so surprised that that's all I took. And he kept saying, um, you're healthy, you're healthy, and you look good, and you look good, and you're healthy. <laughs> and I'm so glad that you're healthy. And he just was, you know, and my husband was with me at that time, and he was like, and your husband here with you. And I, I can't believe that he came with you and he just and he was wow. just making they must see They must see a lot, yeah. you know, the yeah. doctors, people that, they do. that don't take care of themselves yeah. and their families are, not, are torn apart, yeah. which adds to the stress and the mm -hmm. problems of, right. that, that result in bad health. Yeah, know? because yeah. we both, I mean, my husband came in, we were sitting there and I think he was asking more questions than I was asking because all I'm saying in my mind, I don't care what y'all say. I don't care what y'all do. I'm healed. Yes. I'm a, yes. And so my husband and I made a decision that we're going to go have the surgery and just come home. And that that's what we was expecting. And so um, I remember, I think it was a couple of days before the surgery, I was talking to my husband. And I was telling Chrissy how my husband at night, mm -hmm. he would turn over and lay hands on me. And I can't, I'm sleeping. I can hear him saying, my wife is healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Devil, take your hands off my wife. Amen. My, you know, what she's a healed thing. It is by his stripes. And you know, even if I tell him my leg, whatever hurting, I can feel him at night when he, my wife is healed. Yeah, because the devil name. does attack. Yes, he puts things on. He's there trespassing illegally many times. Right. Sometimes people open the door and the enemy comes in. You know, they mm -hmm. they do something negligent with their body or they, right. they enact something. But most of the time I find he's there illegally. Exactly. He's trespassing. So y'all know what to do. Right. We get get out of here, devil. Okay. Take yes. you, take authority over him, lay hands, right. and you believe. And the right. Bible says, mm -hmm. lay hands upon the sick and they shall recover. That is yes. so wonderful. Yes. And then you went to the doctor. I, I truly believe that doctor, when he saw both of you, he saw the spirit of God upon you both. Yeah. Because when you were mentioning it to me, both of you, you were so sure and you st stood firm in your faith. Right. And that the doctor, he probably didn't even realize and he was affirming everything you were believing by saying, well, you look good right. and you are healthy and without even realizing it, just being in your presence mm -hmm. and, and knowing the, the positive pr prayerful spirit you had, I believe that it was contagious and it got on him and he didn't even realize. Because, yeah, because he kept asking us, um, 
I guess my husband and I both, whatever he would say, I would say, oh, praise the Lord. He wouldn't say praise the Lord. He would say, I'm thankful. I'm thankful. The doctor would say, I'm <laughs> yeah, thankful. I'm thankful. I'm thankful. Yeah. Oh, and your husband would say, I'm thankful, right? Or the doctor? No, my husband, would, my, if he say something, we would say like, well, praise the Lord for that. Praise the Lord for that. Uh -huh. But the doctor wouldn't say, yes, praise the Lord. Uh -huh. He would say, yes, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for that. Yeah, I'll be thankful mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. And he just was amazed. And then I'm like, why? You know, he was just amazed that my that my husband was there with me, and we were so peaceful and so calm. So in agreement. That yes. is so yeah. important that you're both in agreement yeah. that you have someone to agree because the word teaches us that we're two and uh, two or more agree as touching anything. Right. It's done, right. and it's we're done. two or more or together in agreement there he's in our your presence so right. like you said when you're praying for people on the phone god's in your presence we all would god was with you guys he was he never was, leaves us or yeah. forsakes us. it was Beautiful. almost like we all like we were in a bubble we didn't yes. worry i remember when i was asking my husband about it about something he said well I'll, i got my peace yesterday i'm good i got my peace yesterday and that's something and mm -hmm. i was like okay and so um we did the all the pre preliminaries, all the blood work and everything. And um, on the on the um, the part with my daughters, um, after I came from the doctor that particular day, I'm going back. After I came from the doctor, she told me what was going on and scheduled me for surgery and everything. And um, so I told my daughter I was going to go to the doctor. And when I went, uh, when I came from the doctor, I went to her house and I was saying, "Well, D, uh, her name is Deandra." I said, "Well, Deandra." Um, I went to the doctor and she gave me the diagnosis. And I'm, a, I'm coming down by your house so I can tell you what she said. And so I had been clowning with them the whole time that I was pregnant. Mm -hmm. So when I got to her house, I said, he said I'm pregnant and I'm having <laughs> twins. And my due date is the 26th, which was my surgery date. He said, and my due date is the 26th. So, and she looked, she was silent for a while. She just kind of like was looking like, yeah. how is this possible? My mom is she just didn't say anything for a while. As she I was know you you look very young. Do you mind telling us your age? I'm 69. 69. Ooh, 69. And this happened looking last fine. year. Yes. So, yeah. You, yeah, you're beyond the childbearing age. And you, we're not going to name you Sarah. So <laughs> yeah, you know I was going to say, this sounds like a no. biblical thing going on. <laughs> I was just clowning with them, really. Yeah. I, and I, I, I realized, I didn't realize what I was doing then, but the way I handled it is the way they handled it. Yes. They saw I weren't worried. And right. I was clowning about it, and I just told them we're gonna go do this, and and coming back, and that's how they handled it. That's so They never wonderful. got upset. They never got worried. That's good. They just they supported you in yeah. your decision to to do it, go about right. it this way. But still, when you go in and you know there's going to remove something that's right. there, there's always the possibility of other things that. Right. So tell us what happened after the surgery. After the surgery, um, well, before the surgery with the apple cider vinegar, the doctor told me. When I was telling him that's all I'll take, he said, I'll tell you what, don't take any more apple cider vinegar until after the surgery. And I was like, why? He said, because doctors don't like that natural stuff. And I was like, well, what? <laughs> yeah. They don't like that natural stuff. So I knew my pressure kept being high. Mm -hmm. And I told my husband, I said, I'm going to pack apple cider vinegar in my bag when I go to the hospital. I know they told me don't bring it. I know my body, yeah. and so mm -hmm. I did pack it. I said, because if I get in that hospital, my, my pressure is high, and they're telling me I can't go home, I'm gonna take some apple cider vinegar. Yeah. So um, they did the surgery um, that morning on our way to the doctor. I don't know why, I just looked at my husband, and I just got so grateful that he was so supportive, and I just looked at him, and I was like, you know what, Arthur, thank you just for being in faith with me, Thank you for standing yes. with me. Thank you for just, as I was just telling him, you've been in faith with me the whole time. Mm -hmm. And you've walked with me and, Amen. you know, just it's the whole wonderful. time that, and he was like, mm, well, thank you. And so we got to the hospital. They did the surgery, did all the, um, everything. And um, I didn't know until maybe probably late that evening what happened. But my husband had called the office. I don't know if he talked to you or maybe... Jessica, mm -hmm. but he was saying that uh, he was telling you all that there was a 15 pound tumor mm -hmm. in my, my stomach. My goodness. And that, it that was qualifies for twins. twins. Anything I was on my side, it was like, no wonder that I looked like I was having twins, but my, I had lost so much pounds. weight. My body Other was, ways. but my stomach was constantly getting, getting bigger. 
And so after the surgery, um, everything went great. Everything went well, just, just like I said in my heart. I'm going in here, and they're going to remove it, and I'm coming out. Mm -hmm. So when we, we had the surgery, um, they told me I may have to stay in for two days. And in my heart, I was like, I'm not staying in here. So the, that, I think that evening, I asked the nurse um, how, you know, how long I have to stay in. And she said, well, he said, you may can go home tomorrow, depending on certain things that happens. And so I said that next morning when I got up, I got up, I went in the bathroom. I wasn't supposed to really, really get up by myself, but I'm like, I'm getting up out the bed. I'm not gonna lay him like I'm sick. I'm getting up. If and she, she felt said, strong enough to do it. You I weren't being strong. reckless or right. foolish. You were, you, you I were felt, following your you know, heart. I, I laid down the whole night, but early that morning I got up because she, I think during the night she said I could sit up on side the bed. And so I got up and I went in the bathroom. I put lipstick on, kind of like make my face up a little bit, comb my hair. <laughs> comb they my just hair. removed a 15 pound tumor, Miss <laughs> Sheila, and you she are put lipstick the next morning. morning. Yeah, she's getting glammed up. I wanted to go home and I <laughs> wanted him to see me looking fresh. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I, I did my hair and I did put a little lipstick on. I don't know what else I put on. And I took the robe off that they gave me. I put on another my nightgown in my robe. Mm -hmm. And um, so when he, when the doctor came in that day to check, that morning to check me, I was in the bathroom. I really wanted to be sitting outside the bed or either sitting in the chair, but I was still in the bathroom. When I stepped out, he was like, whoa, look at you. And I was like, yep. I said, I'm doing good. I feel good. Can I go home? And he said, well, we're going to check you after lunch. Um, eat some lunch. And if you don't feel nauseated, we'll come back that evening and check everything. And then you may can go, you know, you can probably go home that evening. I did go home. Yes. Praise God. Yeah. Next you day, had your so. eye on the prize. You yes. were getting out. You felt good. You knew the Lord had you. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's just so inspirational to know that throughout this whole journey, the peace of God is what really right. kept you. Right. What do you say to people who may be experiencing something similar, but they don't have that peace. They feel tormented by these mm -hmm. this news they've received. It's basically, what are you putting in your thoughts? What are you watching? What are you listening to? That's good. When they told me that I had to have surgery, I think it was like six weeks from the first doctor visit, and then it was six weeks. I put Nancy Dufresne on, mm -hmm. and she has, um, I think it's the Healing Jesus or the Healing Christ. Mm -hmm. is, and I watch her for, for the whole entire time. Mm -hmm. I just watch her. And even after my surgery, I fed on her. And, and, um, and so it's basically, what are you listening to? Yeah. Because, every, you know, you know, the Bible says that by your stripes, by his stripes, you're healed. And sometimes that's not real to us because we read it, but it's not on the inside of us. Mm -hmm. It has to get on the inside. It can't be just a scripture. You have to get it on the inside of you, mm -hmm. just like... And you do that by hearing, by hearing, hearing the word preached, reading it yourself, right? and, and just continually, because it's like medicine. Yeah, and exactly. yeah, you, when he said, do you take any medication? Well, instead of the, um, what was the apple cider vinegar? You said, well, I take the word. Yes. Yeah, the word's the my word. medicine. I, yes. I put the word in three times a day. Yes, <laughs> yes exactly. Every day. So yes. and that's time. really what gave, gives people the reinforcements right. to be victorious. And right. you have to realize that even though, I'm not saying you can't take any other medication. We're not telling you that. Right, exactly. But what we're saying is the word of God is a medicine. It is. And, be, and, you're, and the peace that comes mm -hmm. gives you that strength. Yeah. You know? yeah. Mm -hmm. um, one, one of the times I remember during the time before the um, surgery, I was so, so peaceful, it was almost scary. And I was like, well, Lord, am I facing reality? Cause I'm just too peaceful, what's mm -hmm. going on, am mm -hmm. I? And then I had gotten in my mind, like it just didn't matter how I came out of surgery, what, even if I didn't come out, if I didn't make it, I just was so, so peaceful. And I, it was like, wait a minute. And I called my sister who is my intercessor partner. And I said, I just want, I want to ask you a question. I say, I'm too, too peaceful. I'm, I'm, what, you, you think I'm, I'm not dealing with it? You think I'm not in reality? Denial or, yeah. Yeah, she said, well, you know, your peace is your fight. And I was like, oh. That's beautiful. Your, I love she it. said, That's your, that is your fight. That's, That's your, your weapon. Yeah, and I was like, oh. I said, because I'm so, I'm just so peaceful and it just. Yeah. 
never was fair or anything. Yeah, one of the definitions for peace that my husband always likes to mm -hmm. say, he said that means nothing missing, missing. nothing broken. Mm -hmm. So they got peace. It means that God's got this. Yes. It doesn't matter what the doctors found. God's yeah. going to bring me through it. And it's okay to use. Not everyone, uh, sometimes there are healings that, of course, many times healings recorded. There's no surgery involved, but sometimes mm -hmm. there is. Right. And we, uh, thank, we're thankful for the medical community oh, that yes. God has, bring in, has given to us. Right. But we don't just abandon faith or forget it. We pray with it and we follow mm -hmm. The leading of our heart. There's many different pathways to healing that people have, you know, and uh, God used this. But what happened after the surgery? They took it all out, all 15 pounds. Was, was there any treatment that was she was? They took it all out, and the only thing they told me that they gave me um, pain medication, and um, I was so I, I didn't take it because I, I kept saying I don't I don't want to get hooked on pain medication because I don't take anything, mm -hmm. and for me to just take this pain. It was, so I forget, Tramadol or something they gave me, uh -huh. and um, and they gave me Tylenol, and so I would take the Tylenol. But I, and so the nurse told me, she said, Miss Bennett, take the pain medication. She said because you want to get ahead of the pain. If you don't take it and the pain start, you know, then you you're gonna have you're gonna be suffering pain. So it's okay if you take it. Within six weeks, you're not gonna get hooked on it. Yeah. <laughs> like, and so I did take it. I think maybe for. Probably a week or two weeks. I just to pain. recover, yeah. to feel comfortable. I took the pain mm -hmm. medication, but I didn't finish it. Mm -hmm. But I had no. I haven't. I haven't had any symptoms. In fact, I just went to the um, my annual checkup was Monday, and everything was good. No. Thank you, Lord. You Praise know, God. Everything. She said everything was good. Hallelujah. That's a great victory. Yeah, there. One year yeah. later, we got a great yes. report mm -hmm. that that it's all over with, and and then you're just going forward, healed yes. and whole in Jesus' yes. name. Amen. Exactly. Oh, hallelujah. God's, I love it. Yes. He's Rejoicing yes. that the healing manifested took place, and you decided. And I think that's one of the most beautiful parts about your whole journey, Miss Sheila, is that even when you just heard the news, come to the doctor's office, bring your husband. Right. Most people in that instance, the fear would right. overwhelm. And they, what am I going to do? They already have their, their mind made up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to face this, that. Right. But when that phone call came, you, you turned it around and you said, no, I know what to do. And mm -hmm. I'm going to walk in victory now and walk through this. Right. And here you are, and we're giving God glory about it. And you're encouraging other people right. that their healing is on the way. It's here, actually. Yes. Their healing is now. Just take it. You say that all the time. Just take it. When yeah. you you know when you hear the scripture and you hear the take it. That's yeah. for me. Yeah. And so they just need to just okay. I can take this. This for me because I read a scripture the other day, uh, Monday, a Tuesday, one day. It was Monday because I had prayer in the thing and I didn't realize that was my prayer time, so I read it. And the Spirit of God was, I mean, the, uh, and Isaiah was saying that, and I long to be gracious to you. Mm. I long to show myself strong to you. When you when you pray, before you even finish your prayer, He's he, He's answering you. Yes. So, and when I read that, I was like, Lord, that is so sweet that He longs to be gracious to that. us. He longs to answer our prayer. Amen. So what's stopping it? And I always say, why not me? Why yeah. not me? Right. You why know, not? so why not you? Why not the person that's believing God for something? And if he longs for you to be healed, he longs for you to have your needs met. He longs for your children to be saved. That's so nice. Yeah. Agree with him. Amen. So he can do it for you. Amen. Sheila, Agree thank you him. so much for sharing that. And you know, before we go today, mm -hmm. because you're in our prayer department, I believe that there are people that are watching today that are with us that maybe they're facing a, a difficult yeah. situation. Maybe they've been diagnosed with something difficult and uh, maybe they've made the decision to go to the doctor. Maybe they're, God is leading them to do that, but they need reinforcements. Let's pray together. And I'd like you to lead us in the prayer if you don't mind. Sure. Uh, and just let's pray for these people that are watching yes. because we believe, I believe that this is a divine moment for Me so too. many. Mm -hmm. that the diagnosis that the doctor may have given you is, is going to be changed by the diagnosis that Jesus has given right. us that by his stripes we are healed. Right. So go ahead and pray for our viewers. Please. Father God, we thank you for the viewers that that's viewing us, Father thank God. You, Lord. Father, we thank you. Your word says if we come together and add our faith together in agreement, you said you'll come among us. So yes. I thank you for being here in the midst of us, Father God. You said, Father God, if we add our faith where two or three are gathered together yes. in your name, 
You say, there I am in the midst, Father God. So we thank you for being here. I add my faith with Pastor Kathy and Miss Christy, Father God, that those people that are watching, everyone, Father God, you know them by name. So, Father yes. God, we say thank you. Thank you, thank you. As we add our faith together, we thank you for the power of agreement mm. that reaching every person in the name of Jesus. Yes. Father God, your word says that, and this is the confidence that we have, that yes. if we believe that you hear us, then we know we have the, the um, answer that we're praying about. So yes. I know that you hear, Father, and I know that you do hear us. I thank you for every person, Father, that's watching us. You already died for their healing. You died, Father God, for their provision. You died, Father yes, God, for Jesus. anything the enemy come against them with. So, Father God, we say thank you for answers thank you, today. Lord. Thank you, Lord. We say thank you for confidence in your word today. Yes, Lord. We say thank you for faith rising in the Amen. in the uh, viewers today, you, Father God, in the name yes. of Jesus. Yes. We say thank you for answers. I thank you, Father God, for answers in the name of Jesus. We thank you for hope in the name of Jesus. Yes. Father God, we say thank you. We give unto you all the praise, the glory, and honor. You said in your word, you long to be gracious to us. I ask that you be gracious to each and every person that, that hear our voice, Father. I pray in the name of Jesus, Father God, for answers. Mm -hmm. I thank you, whatever they're crying out for, whatever they need, by your, by your um, word, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that every person will get a word, they will uh, get faith in their heart to receive the things that they need. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 Ooh, the power. Praise yes. the Lord. Amen. Such a blessing. And I believe that you've been touched today by this prayer, by yes. everything that's been talked about today. I want you to write us, send a comment. Let us know how God has touched your life and what you're believing for, because we're believing for your victory. The, the diagnosis is being turned around even now by faith and that we'll hear a great testimony from yes. you. How Thank wonderful. you so much, Sheila, for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank it's you been such a pleasure. blessing to hear what God has done in your life. It's such a peace mm -hmm. even here in the room today. I feel it. Mm -hmm. And I believe it's being communicated across to whatever device you're watching with us today. Definitely. So share this with someone because someone else that you know needs to hear about the healing yes. power of God that we never have to give up. Even if we get a bad diagnosis, God can turn it around. He can show us our pathway to re toward receiving the miracle that we need, that you need in your life. Amen. 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 Oh, so good. Miss Sheila, thank you so much for that powerful Amen. prayer. And yes. to all of you watching, I'm in agreement with you, like she said, and you will walk in that miracle in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Jesus name. Okay, well, thank you for uh, being with us again today. And thank you, everybody, for being with me right here in the studio. See, I'm looking for you right here next week. I know you're going to have a great week. Be healed, be whole, be blessed. Bye-bye. You can broadcast the wonderful works of God right where you are. We have been entrusted to see to it that this message gets communicated to everyone everywhere. You could be the one that changes somebody's life. You may not change thousands, but if you change one, that's all that counts. Kathy Duplantis' Glorious, a conference for women, March 7th and 8th, 2025. Thank you for watching today. I know that you have been blessed, and I'm sure that you don't want to miss any of our new content. So like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell. That notification bell will let you know every time we post something new. So like, subscribe, and hit that bell, okay? See you next time. Bye-bye. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.